Hey guys, thanks for tuning in to the Swaggy Swan family today. Today we're going to go over my baby girl's hair care routine. She is one month old and I'm going to show you how we preserve and grow these beautiful coils and curls that you see in her head. So I use the Shea Moisture Baby Wash and Shampoo. You can pick that up pretty much anywhere, pharmacy, even Walmart. I use a regular basin to wash her hair out with. I always check the water temperature, of course. And I pretty much get her bath started. That is when I wash her hair. Um, I think it's the best time to do it. Um, since you're already washing the baby, you just go ahead and knock two things out at once. And it makes it so much easier to just do it at that time. After I've washed my daughter up, I go ahead and start the hair care portion. I make sure that I rinse out her hair with warm water. And I do have her pacifier handy because it makes the process easier to kind of try to soothe her while I am doing the hair washing. Just, it's a great thing to have handy. I use a quarter size amount of the shampoo, rub it in her hair. I don't scratch, I just rub gently and then I rinse it out with warm water. After I'm done and take her out, I only dry with a terry cloth towel. Very important. Once her hair is dry, I use a key ingredient to this whole process, I believe, and that is the Jamaican black castor oil. You can try and order this online or get it locally. And then I use some form of a old medicine droppers. Um, there's two different styles here that work really good if you want to use those. Now the consistency of the castor oil is thick. So I'm just showing you here. It is not loose. It is thick. Once in the dropper, it is only about 0.5 in case you're wondering how much to use. And really, you just spread that throughout. And after you're done, I would say to begin using the comb of your choice and just combing through the hair. Again, you're not using a lot of the Jamaican black castor oil, but it is enough and it goes a long way because of the consistency. Real quick for anyone who may be a naysayer or wondering, does the black Jamaican castor oil really work? This is a picture of my son, how his hair was when he was younger. I did the same routine, washed it once a week. You can see the length here. His hair grew and grew and grew and maintained its texture. It looked lovely. As you can see here, it was a beautiful texture. So I swear by the Jamaican castor oil, it really does work. Um, and I also use it in my hair. Here is a picture, a clip of me with my natural hair in its natural state after using black castor oil, so it works. Generally, after I've combed through the hair, I'll go ahead and I'll brush through her hair calmly and lightly. It doesn't need to be forceful, and as you can see, she's peaceful during this whole time, and I'm just, it's allowing me to really massage the black castor oil throughout her hair and her coils. I would recommend only using that product. I do not use anything else in her hair. Baby's hair really does not require a lot of product. And also note, I do only wash her hair once a week. Excessive washing can dry the hair out and get rid of even the natural oils. So I would not recommend excessively washing your child's hair every time you give them a bath. Again, once a week should be sufficient enough. But of course, it is your choice. The most important part of this process is the silk bond. This is an infant silk bonnet that I ordered online. If you need information, just comment below. This is super helpful because it's what keeps babies here from falling out in the back, from rubbing constantly when they sleep on their head. I put that on her. I have a matching one as well. So for all you fashionistas, it's a great purchase. And honestly, it's just worth it. It's what keeps her hair nice and silky. Anyone whose infant has cradle cap, I heard it helps with that too. Although my daughter hasn't had it, reviews say that that bonnet helps with it. And by the next morning when I take off her bonnet and I start to comb her hair out, as you can see here, it's beautiful, it's silky. You can see the length, the coils are retained, it's not dry, it's perfect. And I just comb through her hair. It's very important to just gently comb through their hair so you can make sure you're getting out any tangles that may have happened during the night. And this is pretty much how I take care of my daughter's hair, how it continues to grow. So by using the Shea Moisture Baby Shampoo, the Black Jamaican Castor Oil, which promotes growth in hair, and also the Silk Bonnet, I'm able to maintain her silky coils and of course grow her hair. I hope this information was useful for you guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for watching.